This is another example how to use pre-trained TensorFlow models with Spring Cloud Dataflow for real-time analytics. Uh, today I'm going to show how to use the Inception TensorFlow model. This is uh, image categorization or image classification um, convolutional neural network that uh, can categorize input, match, input image in one of uh, 1,000 possible uh, categories. Uh, the image net has been used to, as a data set for train this, uh, this uh, neural network. Uh, you can find here a lot of instructions how to retrain, how to run the, and retrain the system or just uh, tune it for your own images. Prepare, create a model that is better suited for your own needs. On the Spring Cloud Dataflow side, we're going to use the Spring Cloud uh, Dataflow Tensor Processor and particularly a, a small extension of this processor that provide a custom input and output converters to better align with the uh, inception TensorFlow model. Input and output, this is the feeds and feed fetch of the model. So the input of the labeling processor is uh, uh, binary content of the image file and the output is a JSON message that contains a label tag with the name, most probable name of this image or if you configure the alternative length to something higher, let's say three, you can have the last, for example, the three most probable uh, uh, labels along with their probabilities. We're going to use a Spring Cloud Dataflow single, uh, singleton server with a rabbit binding, Redis for the sync. Let's start the server. and uh, we'll perform the rest from the web console. First, let's register our image classification processor, or image labeling processor. Image classification. And I have uh, built it locally on the GitHub repository, and here is the job how I'm going to use of this processor seems like it's correctly resolved let out the out of the box uh, uh, stream applications distributed with the spring cloud data flow so we have the full set we are ready to start our first stream called inception will monitor inception will monitor a file directory so we're going to use the file source temp inception, I have pre-created this directory and uh, extract the content of the files that are dropped in this directory it's the binary content and uh, it's what the purpose of the mod contents means and send it to our processor or in this case it would be the image classification processor and the output of the classification will be stored into log file. Uh, let's configure the image classification, we have to provide the location of the pre-trained model. There is one uploaded here, our most recent one. And we also need the, the label list of uh, labels, of image labels used for the training of this model. This is another extract available. The output of the model is uh, this inception model is called output. And as I said, we can actually, instead of single response, we can um, um, use the last three most probable response along with their probabilities. Get back. As with the previous uh, example, we're going to um, utilize the uh, print out for analytics. Uh, capabilities and collect the image names and visualize those in real time. So image names. We're going to tap the inception stream or pipeline at image. Location. and send the output of the classification to the field value counter sync, this analytical sync, and we'll be interested in the label 
remember the output contains some interest in this tag. And image. Let's call this image labels. And now deploy everything. Both pipelines have been de uh, been deployed. Uh, the inception, as we discussed, actually monitors the file system and this temp uh, inception directory. Any JPEG files dropped in this folder would be uh, uh, sent along to the binder. This is the RabbitMQ to the image processor. The image processor would uh, estimate or evaluate uh, what is the score this file and uh, spit out the uh, most powerful labels and log those in the log file. So we'd be interested to monitor the log file to see what labels we receive there. Okay. Still waiting for the inception classification to to be deployed. It's a little bit slow because it downloads the pre-trained model from the location. Okay, everything seems deployed. We have the pipelines in place. Now let's try to uh, let's uh, download some images in our file directory temp inception. Of course, we would start with. Uh, something we hope would be recognized. Save image as inside the inception folder. Okay, this would be the first image. Let's see the, and indeed it was uh, recognized as a giant panda. Let's uh, do something else. Okay, this was even uh, uh, recognized as a Labrador Retriever, Golden Retriever with less probabilities. Uh, something else, of course. If we start with pets, we have to go all the way to the cat. I think uh, this uh, did a poor job here. It couldn't recognize how nice kitty to actually gray fox. Don't know what gray fox means. It seems like classification more or less works. We can recognize different animals. Let's see if we can visualize this with our analytics. Uh, console, image uh, labels. Okay, indeed, let's use the bubble chart. Just a quick recap. We built a pipeline that monitors the files for uh, images. Any image that is dropped in this folder would be uh, is passed as its content is passed to the image uh, classification processor that classifies in one of the possible thousand uh, labels and put the output in the log file. In the same time, the image output is uh, tapped by the image names uh, pipeline and the output is put in the analytical value counter and visualized via analytics uh, view in real time. 